About to get it. He'll make something quick and sweet like me. <laughs> anyway, now we get these pizzas. These he'll still got the juice on it. I normally pour the juice out and leave one can of it. But hell, it ain't much. And I need to pour it all off. I sent an old sorry boy down to the store to get me some pizza. He gonna come out here with two different cans. But it's all right. I'll look on it the same anyway when you get through. They ain't gonna even know it. <laughs> now put them pizzas down there in that pan. And it look like a mash it right. You make sure you get them all right. Might as well mix them up. Put them in there like that, you hear? Then I get me a little cinnamon. This boy, he don't got the cinnamon. It look like somebody done made it. The house ain't got no name on it. But this be there for the church anyway. It's all right. Dice your little cinnamon now. However much you want to take. Since I know I got them other peaches in there, I put me a whole heap of it in there. So it'll give a good taste and it'll get all in there. And I get me a little teaspoon of that vanilla airstrike. Mm -hmm. I dice it in there. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But I get a little brown sugar to taste. I tell you, when I make something, I like to make it good. Now, you ain't got to use the great evil, didn't I? You just get you a little look. And you dice it in there. Ain't gotta be much. Now that you don't put this together, I got my cinnamon, I got my vanilla and stripe, and my brown sugar. I get a little cake man from Betty Crocker. What else the hell the name me? And you just dump it crowd that just like that. You just put it every which way. Then you take your spoon that you had, and you just smooth it out right on the top. You do it every which way. Thank you, Lord. You might want to get me a little piece of it now. <laughs> now, when I ain't got this pow okay. Now you can use regular butter if you melt it down and feel like sitting there and, and mushing it around everywhere. But you ain't got nothing but that paw cake. You take that paw cake and you just squeeze it around just like that. Every which way. You go back to that old spoon you had. Right? Now you ain't got to do a lot of whole heap of it now. But I like where it clumped up in. I like to move it out of the spoon right across the top. Now after you done did this, you take your oven and put it on about 350. And sit in there and let the time in the log work. We'll be back. <laughs> Have mercy. Ah. Mm. Hey, you about to go through that? Hell, if it don't, they had to eat a little something here. Now I put a little cinnamon on top when I, after I put it in that oven. I forgot to put it up there when I got the cooking. Thank you, Lord. Mm. But that's about it now. Let's see if I get one of these bowls. I didn't know it cook. It all look just like that, all brown on top. Now you get your little spoon, 
Nigga, you caught up. Now you got your little cow blood. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Finny's good, too. Sure enough. I ain't gonna get too much for the trick. But they can't miss what they know. Hey. <laughs>